The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. For the Eagles Sports Network, I'm Brian White here with head women's soccer coach Simon Duffy. As the Eagles flip the script for a new season as they start South Atlantic Conference play on Wednesday against the Marshall Lions. Coach, you start conference play, the moment's finally come, you finished non-conference last week. What's the mindset heading into the matchup with the, the Lions? Yeah, our players are very understanding now that we, we start conference play, league play, so everything before now really doesn't matter. But when we kick off now against Mars Hill on Wednesday here, it's when season starts for us. So we need to make sure we need to put everything else behind us, put together the game plan, hopefully what we're, we're trying to do, um, and, and, and players step up and hopefully get the win. And you and I have talked about the conference in its entirety previously, but you start off with a interesting Marcel team this season. They've compiled the most saves. They have a goal against average below one. What about them to start off the conference will help your girls head into the rest of the conference slate? It's going to be a tough game, like you said. They don't give up a whole lot. They're very organized, very well coached. Um, and a couple of dangerous players, girl up front, Sandy Martinson, uh, we're well aware of who she is, their main goal threat. So we need to make sure we nullify anything they try to do. But like I've, I've said in the past, we need to be the best version of ourselves. And we've had a bit of a stuttering start. It, you know, it was there in droves how well we can be against North Green, uh, North Georgia, excuse me, in the second half. So we're, we're hoping that players can come out a bit more relaxed um, and, and understanding what needs to be done and, and just get taken care of. And you head into conference with the talent level that you and I have talked about, but one person that stood out is Nelly Brunis. But from top to bottom, what can this program do in conference starting Wednesday? We hope to bring that trophy back to our locker room at the end of the at the end of the year. Now, like it's something we've looked at, and um, like we said, our 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 conference is just getting better and better, top to bottom. Very very tough teams. So, with the addition of limestone now with 11 conference games, it just becomes a necessity every single game we play home and away. We've got six home games, five away games this year. The way it worked out, so we we need to make sure we're winning our home games. And, and, and look to go undefeated on the road and there's a few more objectives that we're looking to do for our ultimate goal of, of winning regular season. And you mentioned having the six home games there in conference. What about McCallum Field just provides that advantage for your team? Um, I'd, I'd like to see it providing a bit more of an advantage than it did the other day um, against Treveca. But I, I, I'm hoping the players come out a bit more relaxed uh, in a very familiar environment. We have a good support base out there. Hopefully we can get as many students, staff, um, fans, family out to the game on, on, on Wednesday. But it's going to be a big one for us. Obviously we kick off just before the lads. So hopefully we can start things off on the right note um, for us and get to three points. That's the biggest thing um, before we, we move on to the next opponent. Thanks, Coach, and best of luck to you and the girls on Wednesday. For the Evo Sports Network, I'm Brian White. He's head women's soccer coach, Simon Duffy.